dollars. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, what was the guy's name with SFK? Neil Miller. Neil Miller. He was okay. with SFK and America. SFK, yeah. SKF America. SKF America. Yeah, these guys, he, he chased us down, found us a local distributor, hooked us up. Thanks, Neil. Um, we simply put the pulled the uh, bearing off the other end of the rotor, uh, pressed on the new one. I spliced in some four-wire sort of pre-made cable uh, onto it. We fed that through the back of the motor, carefully put the rotor in until the uh, um, uh, bearing seated. Uh, kind of keeping a little tension on that cord and not ripping it not off. Not ripping the, it off uh, this time. Thing this time. <laughs> and so we got our harness back together and our rotors in there. So now we're ready to put on the end plate. All right. So we're going to grease this up a little bit to some, just some regular bearing grease. And that's going to go into our cup. And this bearing was greased already. We didn't. And we grease the other one when it went in. We'll put our washer on here. I want to make sure it sticks on there. That's what he uses this for. Have you ever dropped a little screw in the bottom of an electrical cabinet? <laughs> If you take some of that grease and stick it on a Phillips head screwdriver, you can reach right and down you can and reach grab in that and get thing them. and pull it right back up. It's kind of like glue uh, for electric components, but uh, for mechanical, I guess it's a lubricant. You're not going to pack any in here? Well, the bearing is only, is this part is not spinning at all. It's only spinning on the shaft. Okay. So we're going to put a little bit on there. And uh, I'm going to line this up like this. I'm also going right. to actually put a little bit on this. Uh, I don't need too much there when I get some on this because this is going to have to go down our dust seal. Mm -hmm, that's what I was thinking. Uh, just run a little bit on our O-ring too. Yeah. Just to make it go on there good. We won't need this. We don't need our old sensor bearing. No. So we're just going to start with this and kind of take a look at that. That wavy washer and make sure it stays where it's supposed to stay. Why don't you just put it in the bottom of the cup? Yeah. Work. I think that's uh, what that's about, isn't it? Yeah. That works. Let's get top. It's marked here. That kind of works, huh? Yeah. All right. Now, we have the holes marked that are going to have the long bolts here. This is one of them. So we need a short bolt there. If I can now again, this is kind of like putting a wheel on a car. We want to, if we ever do get it to thread Let's see in. Let's get this thing to start here. I think we found it. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing like we did. So we've got one here, a long one. Or else we have another long one here marked. And we've got one at the bottom. Is that right? This one. Is another uh, long one? Uh, yeah. Actually, no. this is a long one here. Is it? Yeah, that one, this one. And I think the one directly over here. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to kind of press that bearing into the end plate, I guess. I'm making this up. Um, by. Um, gradually tightening these bolts one at a time, um, much as you would putting on a wheel on a car. Yeah, we're going to do just like we do with the pressure plate on the flywheel. We're just going to walk it, down, walk it on real, real gently. Anytime you torque anything down, you don't want it to bind. We just want it to go kind of glide down on there. Are you putting your Permatex on these? Did we want to thread lock these? Probably. I would think let's, so. All right, let's do this I've over. I've got several viewers want us. They really want. They us really to want us to thread lock. All right. Yeah. Well. And and on camera. Yeah. All right. And we had it out there. My mistake. I'm not going to use too, too much. Thread locker is kind of aggressive. And the blue is a medium thread mm -hmm. locker. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you have been warned. <laughs> what, to use Threadlocker? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> People get kind of caught up with themselves, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, We're only it's trying been a to save the world here. This is not that serious a deal. <laughs> Take a powder, Victor. Steven Spielberg did a cartoon called Pinky and the Brain. One of yeah. my favorites. That's why the brain. <laughs> what are we going to do today, Brain? Uh, take same, over the world. Same thing we do every day, <laughs> Pinky. Try. try to take over the world. Boy, I like the way this looks already. I do, too. I think we're going to have a lot better motor than Victor does. And the only one. Yeah. And uh, this will be one of a kind. Well, with your uh, mounting plate down here and this, this this motor, there may be a lot of things happening to this car, but it won't be because the motor was moving. I don't think so. I saw a thing uh, online that was kind of interesting. While well, you're tightening up there, it's a we refer to an electric motor as a motor. But a gasoline motor we refer to as an engine. Mm -hmm. So why isn't it general engines? Why would it be General Motors? They don't do an electric car. And uh, how about a uh, Ford uh, Motor Company? Uh, wouldn't that be Ford Engine yeah, Company? It, that should be. Um, We're just a mess. And uh, Well, with that thread locker on, and thanks for the reminding me, I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty good. My golly, let me swing this around where they can kind of see it. I sure like the look. Little lash in the uh, coupler, but the motor spins quite freely. The motor freely. seems pretty good. And uh, so if we had any uh, tragicomic uh, errors in our end plate, uh, since that end plate and this one's what holds the rotor up by those two bearings, right? That's we should uh, we should be pretty much jammed up, right? Yeah, that uh, yeah that that bearing cup is uh, holding that uh, holding that uh, rotor bearing. And I think the the thing just looks a lot better. Where's it my looks other a lot end better. plate? Right here. I'm doing design work for MESDEA. Why should they be mad at me? <laughs> that, that looks like they a They'll be end sending plate. me a check. Here's what an end uh, plate would look like for your motor, and it would work. Not this. Yeah. That's I, pretty nice. I, I, I want a check and a consulting contract. Right. <laughs> what are we doing, Brain? Well, we've got that. Will now this we've got go to go on it. there? Well, yep. Do we need to talk about anything else? Well, we talked about the, the dowel pins. That's an addition. We talked about the addition of the fifth uh, mounting hole. Mm -hmm. On this side, uh, our three are going to go through here. Our, uh, 
the ones we didn't put in there are eight, so we've got five more six millimeter long bolts now, and those are those are counterboard as well. And then we're going to have five of the uh, eight millimeters going in. So no, other than lining up the uh, other than lining up the pins, and we've got the uh, now that's the, the uh, bottom side. Yep, we've got the top. Let's see. Of this is going to sit like, uh, how are, where are we here? Let's go ahead and pop this. 